Hey guys, Rich Toe here, and yes, I'm back. Uh, like I said, I promised I was going to try to make more videos. Um, actually, I've been thinking about using the Eminem song, uh, Guess Who's Without Me, the Guess Who's Back part. Uh, I remember I used it for when, uh, for, uh, when I made my first video back after a while. I'm thinking about using it, not sure yet. Uh, leave a comment below if you think that should be like my theme when I start off my videos or something. Uh, I'm thinking about it, not, not sure yet. But anyways, guys, I'm um, not really going to bring you any gameplay, just what's on the PS Vita store or whatever while I talk about uh, a certain game that's going to be coming out in the near future, hopefully soon. Um, so I'm browsing through... Uh, through Best Buy uh, to see the, the new games that will be coming out and I see a title that sounds so familiar oh great uh, good job interrupting me uh, anyways uh, and the, the title of the game is The Evil Within so I think to myself The Evil Within that game that, that sounds so familiar so I did what everyone else does and I search up on YouTube, The Evil Within. So, I see the trailer and I think to myself, Oh yeah, I remember this game now. But the thing was, they kept talking about it so much over the PS4, the PS4. So I thought to myself, it's going to be only in a PS4 exclusive or something. I wasn't planning on getting the PS4 anytime soon. I bought it, so, you know, I have it now. But that title that game was pushed back to the back of my mind so the evil within hopefully re it release its release soon but it goes like this detective sebastian and his partners are called to a gruesome mass murder sebastian starts to witness the killing of his fellow police officers one after another sebastian is then attacked and loses consciousness now, uh, if you look up, if you search for The Evil Within, and E3 actually has gameplay of this. So, I guess when he loses his consciousness, he comes back, and this is where, I'm, I'm guessing this is where it starts off. Uh, you're hanging upside down. Sebastian is hanging upside down, actually. And this big dude comes at, honestly, if you were to put a pig, like a pig's head over him, like a mask... I would think it was Pigsy from uh, Manhunt. So anyways, this dude's standing in front of you. He's staring at Sebastian. He's staring at you while you're hung upside down. And then he starts walking towards the back. And you start hearing this guy scream. And you start hearing, like, cut. A cut, like cutting. So then you hear this loud, loud, loud thump fall to the ground. And then this dude is dragging this dead body. It looks like he cut his waist from his waist up. He cut and you just see the dude's head looking back at you. It looks like he cut his throat and he didn't finish the job and his head is just hanging back. So he's dragging the body. He puts it on top of the table and he starts, I guess, cutting it. Or I don't know what he starts doing. So this is where the game kicks in. Uh, the remote starts, use, left, use the left analog stick to swing yourself. So you start swinging yourself. Let's see if they have it here. You start swinging yourself um, back and forth. There's a knife. Um, I'm sorry. There's a knife on a dead body in front of you. So you reach for it. You grab it. You cut yourself down. And, you know, like a loud thump. Boom, you make like a loud thump falling to the ground. I thought to myself, okay, or, all right, you are in a, a this is this, this place is based on an asylum. You're in an asylum, you know you're alone. You he, there's a loud thumping noise, yet you don't look back, you don't bother to check what it is. I'm alone right now, and if I hear something that's not supposed to be making a noise I'm gonna check it out or I'm gonna be scared shitless cause I know I'm alone and that noise should not be made so anyways when the dude falls down he, the Sebastian falls down he makes a thump and then like he loses his breath like you know when you lose your breath you get hit or something so he loses his breath there's a loud thump 
And the dude doesn't bother to check, doesn't bother to look, and I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Typical horror movie, horror game uh, thing. The dude doesn't check. Fine. So you start walking towards the door. Uh, you, you find that it's locked. And, like, with a, with a scared, angry voice, oh, God, it's locked. Where's the key? So, again, typical horror game, horror movie. The key is hanging by a meat hook. On top of the table where this dude just ended up taking that dead body. So here comes the waiting game. You go, you're waiting there. What's he going to do? Is he going to make a move? What's he? You're waiting for him to do something. So of course he makes his move. He goes, uh, he goes to the back of the room, gets a knife, gets something, does something. And you move, you grab the key. Again, you the key makes a jingle noise. Let me see. Where are my keys? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go with these keys. Okay, here are my keys. Let's just say I have them hanging. Here they are. Oh, right here. My keys. They're hanging, and you grab them. You know, you're so scared, you grab them. They're gonna make a noise no matter what you do. Again, the dude does not bother to check. I know some of you guys are going to be like, God, Risho, why don't you shut the hell up? It's a game. I know it's a game, but, I mean, still, you hear some noises, you're going to go check what it is. Uh, let me just fix this. So, anyways, uh, you go, you unlock the door, and you're free from the room. So, this game is being developed by a Japanese studio by Tango Gameworks and published by... Beth Bethesda Software. I think it's Bethesda. I'm Bethesda. I'm not sure. Bethesda Bethesda Softworks. Um, and the uh, Tango was founded by. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna be saying this name right. Sin Shinji Mik Shinji Mikami. I don't know if I said his name right. Shinji Mikami, the creator of Res the Resident Evil series. Now, uh, they're talking, uh, I'm sorry, they're talking to the publisher, one of the guys from the publishing from uh, Bethesda Software, Softworks, my bad, and uh, they ask, they, he says, you know, he is the original creator of, of uh, Resident Evil, so what would scare you? In Resident Evil is not going. Let me just see. Is not gonna scare you. Now you know too many horror movies, too many horror games, too many Silent Hills, too many of this and that. You know what you're expecting, so you know what's gonna happen. <clears throat> so. He needed to change his ways, and he did change his ways. He made it more scary, more, more. I don't know for the fans, more horror for the fans. There it is, the evil within. So here's here's where I think it's a horror part. So, anyways, you're going up the stairs. You escape this room. You go up the stairs, and you're going over a ramp. Um. The ramp, of course, goes over the table, goes over where the dude is chopping up that uh, the, the body. So, you know, you're kind of tiptoeing your way out with Sebastian. And as you're getting close to the door, you just hear a trigger, like something you pulled something from the ground. Of course, it says, this sets off fire alarms, and all you hear is, dun, 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 dun. and right behind you, Pigsy, I'm going to just call him Pigsy, I don't know his real name yet. Pigsy, of course, with his chainsaw, turns it on, and he starts chasing you with this chainsaw. So, I'm guessing this guy made a mistake, the player, of, uh, that's who I'm talking about, the player, because he kept doing this, he did it twice, he looks back to see where uh, Pigsy's, at, Pigsy's at, and he just shoves the, shoves the chainsaw between your body, cuts you up a little, and just throws your body, your dead carcass on the floor. So you died, so you have to start all over again from where you're hanging. Now this is the horror part. If I work so hard 
to get to that place. And then if I die, I fucked up. I guess if you don't reach a certain checkpoint, you have to start all over again from wherever that your last checkpoint was. So here's the other thing. Um, the the publisher, Beth, Bethesda Softworks, I don't know if I'm saying it right, comes out and he says, if you do die, you will not... Uh, Every time you die, it is a different scenario. That's the word I've been looking for. Scenario. Uh, for example, I'm just going for an example here. Say you're Sebastian and uh, you're at a room. You're at a crossroad. Crossroad where uh, you're behind this guy and you don't want to... You don't want to mess with him. So the dude takes a left turn and you... Boom. You jet for the door. You open the door. You get whatever's in there that you needed and that's it you're out say you die and you start all over again now say you're behind the guy again and he takes a right turn this time boom there you see it again that's my opening I jet into that place I, and right when I jet in the dude that took the right turn is there so let's just say that right turn he took was just like a little hallway for him to enter into the room you just jet in and of course he kills you so, reason why Bethesda, uh, Bethesda Softworks is saying, if you do die, it will not be the same scenario. It will be different scenarios. Uh, so, you really gotta... It's a thinking... Uh, besides the fact that it's a horror game, it's also a thinking game as well. You have to solve, I guess, puzzles. You know, you gotta think on your feet. If you were caught in that situation, what would you do? Of course, in that situation... You are not coming back to life if you do die. Um, the Evil Within will be the first game that Tango Gameworks will release. You know, Tango got uh, was founded, I think, in 2010 by uh, Mi Mikami. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but it was it's the first game that they're developing. Uh, that they're actually de uh, 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 developing, and you know what a great way to start it off, huh? The Evil Within. Now, here's the other thing. The Evil Within, I thought it was a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Exclusive, It's not. I'm not bring, uh, talking bad about the Xbox One or 360 or anything like that. Don't take this the wrong way. Um, it will be for the PS3, for the PS4, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. I do not know when this game will be released. I tried to look it up. Um, actually, you know what? I'm right here already, but like I said, is they have not said when the game itself will be released. I'm waiting for it, because, you know, uh, Resident Evil, you know, I'm not saying it's past, it past its prime, it just says release date, right there, 2014, right there, Microsoft Windows, I apologize. For Microsoft Windows, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, it's a single player and it's a survival horror game. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about, uh, about like I said, about the Xbox. I just thought it was going to be a PS4 exclusive. That would have been nice. But, hey, the more the better. Uh, you know, share this game with the world. I mean, it's going to be one hell of a game. I can't wait for it. Uh, if you want, go to YouTube, look it up, search uh, gameplays of it. Uh, they have some gameplay. It looks great. Um, they ask uh, the publisher, Beth Bethesda Softworks, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right, what are you dealing with? Because it looks like, and there's f more gameplay, but it looks like you're dealing with zombies. Or it looks like you're dealing with this and that. He did not give you a straight up answer if yes there are zombies you know they're spiritual creatures no they're demons he doesn't give you a straight answer i guess it's for you to figure out when you play the game itself but if you want to look it up uh, the evil within on youtube um you have the game play like uh, the game the trailer for the game and they have some gameplay i would i would love to uh post it up for you guys here you know what i'll just put the the link below I'll put the link below so you guys can see the trailer. I would love to have shown it to you guys, but I don't want to be flagged or something for that. So I'll just leave it up to you guys to go look at it. Um, but anyways, guys, I cannot wait for this game. The Evil Within. It looks amazing. Um, 
I was going to do, uh, I was going to talk about uh, Watch Dogs, but you know, I've seen that everybody's talking about it, so I said, you know what, I'm going to talk about The Evil Within, it looks like an amazing game, a survival horror game, um, you know, these Japanese games are scary as hell, you know, when Resident Evil came out, you know, a lot of people were scared, Silent Hill came out, you know, it was creepy, it was intense, nowadays, um, I still like Resident Evil, but it looks like they're just trying too hard. You know, it looks like they just come up with... Don't take this the wrong way, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. Uh, Resident Evil 5 was an amazing game. And Resident Evil 5 was the last game I played. To me, it just seems like they're just trying to... They just put in whatever bullshit they can and just... Here you go, guys. Another Resident Evil game. It's what you've been waiting for. Here you go. Uh, just give us your money. You know... If they were, if, if, if after Resident Evil 5 came out, I know 6, or I don't know what other revelations, or I don't know what it was called, came out as well. <coughs> Excuse me. If after two, uh, Resident Evil 5 came out, and they would have actually taken more time to release 6, you know, they actually put the time and effort to uh, make it for you guys, you know? I don't know, but I just wanted to bring you guys the Evil Within. I uh, can't wait for his game. So like always, guys, subscribe to my channel, comment on my video, like my video. Thanks for watching, guys, and like always, take care.